Hello, my name's Kian Wormsley from the Autodesk Developer Network team, and I'm here with Rob Smith from SprintCAD, one of our ISV partners and an ADN member. <clears throat> and we're going to talk to him about SprintCAD's development efforts. So, who is SprintCAD? Uh, SprintCAD is a software vendor. We make uh, products for AutoCAD, uh, primarily just plain AutoCAD. We're looking into the vertical markets now. Our software is for designers of fire protection systems. The, the people who actually do the, uh, the installation and the design to make the blueprints, construction documents, would use our software to uh, lay out the fire sprinkler system, do the hydraulic calculations, uh, do the stock listing. And we also have products that are not dependent upon the AutoCAD platform, hmm. specifically for code interpretation, for fluid delivery time, things of that nature. Great. And you've been a partner of Autodesk for many years? I know that we have always uh, been on top of the AutoCAD product hmm. in that we, we have menus and uh, programs that run on top of Auto AutoCAD, but as to when we became a partner in terms of value-added reseller and, and ISV, I can't honestly say. We started in 1986. Uh -huh. It's always been based on AutoCAD, uh, and we are now working within the OEM portion as well. Great. So you've seen quite an evolution of the AutoCAD platform over the years. Absolutely. Plus yeah. myself, I started out as a designer in fire protection back in 1980. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere around 83 or 84, I saw my first uh, exposure to AutoCAD. So I've seen it grow uh, impressively. Sure, sure. So um, how is the SprintCAD application implemented? What technologies do you use? We are involved in the menus in mm -hmm. that we provide our own customized menus and then we have Lisp routines uh, as well as uh, .NET uh, routines that run within the AutoCAD environment and we've been object ARX uh, and I guess before that there was another implementation, I don't remember the name of that one, uh, but we, we have object ARX. I'd say that's our primary vehicle right. within the software is that high level C++ programming so that the designer has specific functions and, and methods that are exposed that are particular to the fire sprinkler designer. Uh, as far as our use of uh, the AutoCAD platform, it's lines and blocks. Okay. And we have a few of our own custom entities as well. I see. And do you have a separate database system on the back end that you're accessing? Yes. Um, we have a proprietary database mm -hmm. that is now rolling over into an MDB Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, in the future may go out to um, SQL nice. database. So we're looking in that direction. But we have a database of parts. It's specific types of materials that are particular to the fire protection system Right. Uh, that is linked into the AutoCAD platform. Sure. Um, do your customers generally create very large models with the software? It runs the gamut. You yeah. have people who design little tiny uh, fire protection spray booths. Mm. So you've got a building and, and the, the model consists of a floor plan involving two or three fire sprinklers and some piping and some valving. And then you go right on up into uh, multi-building, multi-floor projects that can, uh, from an AutoCAD standpoint, can be 15, 20 megabytes in size. Right, right. Do you? Uh, are any of your customers starting to look at 64-bit versions of AutoCAD? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we are attempting to make the transition to 64-bit right now. Uh, it's one of the things on our schedule for this coming year is to uh, do a 64-bit API. So in the meantime, we're asking uh, our customers, and, and not many of them are really jumping at the 64-bit, uh, but we have those who are calling and saying, well, I've got this 64-bit motherboard, and they gave me 64-bit windows, and, and we can't get a 32-bit AutoCAD on there. Right, right. Okay. Well, this has been really interesting. So thank you for your time, Rob. My pleasure, Keith. Okay. Thank you.